would make landfall uh, just along Mississippi coastline. But if we do see that storm a little bit farther over here, then at southeast Louisiana portions of Acadiana would get that severe storm surge. And any shift to the west or to the east would change that. We're talking about you being on the east side of the storm would be where the majority of the damage from storm surge would happen. Now, anywhere along the storm, we're seeing hurricane force winds and also a heavy, heavy amounts of rainfall. We'll be talking about the storm in detail coming up in just a little bit. For now, we'll toss it back over to Marty and Cynthia. All right. Thanks, Kelly. We're now joined by the mayor of Sulphur, Ron Huh. Well, we did, we, we did this just, what, three years ago, and now here we go again. All, All too soon. soon. All too soon. I would like to say good to see you, but not under <laughs> sure. the sun. You know, we talk about preparations for a hurricane. Obviously, you have responsibilities to your city. Right. But what we talk about in an event like this, it's really parish-wide, isn't it? I mean, we yeah. kind of take the individuality out of it. And people need to know that. I mean, it's, it's amazing how well we've always worked together. And, I mean, it's in, it, very evident now that it, it's, it continues to happen. And I think that... I think it's very comforting. I mean, for everyone to know that people are on the same page, that people are going to do that, and, and when it gets down to this, we're all in this together. I mean, I think that speaks highly. I mean, you know, when I look at this, I was I was talking to a friend the other day. I I know of no other thing makes landfall, and here it is starting to pick it up on radar now. Some of those bands getting closer now to southeastern Louisiana, so it's just a matter of time we start to get into those rain bands and the weather goes downhill. For South Florida, it's been downhill. We've had even tornado warnings earlier. There is that threat through the day today of a slight chance of a tornado with some of these bands coming in and also some of the heavy rainfall could cause some flash flooding right here along Alligator Alley. We also have a little bit of rain coming in here to northern Florida. It looks like around the Tallahassee area, too, some showers have developed. Everything moving off towards the west and even here for folks in Georgia. And how about South Carolina? Some of these showers and storms moving through as well. 95 may be impacted today. Kevin? Indiana Mountains Park in St. Paul, Minnesota pays respect to sacred land. New Orleans along I-10 is very light. People are able to drive 60 miles an hour down the road. So if you know people who are evacuating New Orleans, tell them to take that route. And they can always go north Highway 61 to Natchez and up to Monroe. They tell us that that's, that's the big secret right now. Nobody's taking that route. So that's the latest.